Hello everybody. So today I'm going and yes, I am in the same outfit as my last video. Filming two videos in one day. So today I'm going to be showing you a inexpensive alternative to the Z palette. So this is the Z palette that I have. Sorry about the glare. Um, this is from Sephora and it is their Sephora by Z palette and the reason that I bought this one was because they had a sale. That is the only reason because these are really expensive. This was on sale for $10 but normally retails for over $20. So while I was away on Pinterest I found these and someone else had done a blog post on them and they are DIY makeup palettes. So I got this at Joann's for $4.99. They're normally $9.99, but they were on sale. And if they're not on sale when you go to buy them, so then you can use the coupon. You just look up Joann's coupons, and there you go. And you can also buy them online if you do not have a Joann's near you. So what these are actually used for is they are little um, needle and sewing compartments. So they have a magnetic bottom, which makes them perfect for holding eyeshadows. So these are my I'll move these. These are my Inglot eyeshadows and I you they're magnetic. So I just want to show you that these magnetic. See? And um this is a lot bigger. I will compare sizes. Um sorry if the lighting is funky. Um it's kind of gloomy outside and then I set up this like sketch light system. As you can see it is obviously longer um, and then it the Z palette is a little bit taller but this holds a lot more eyeshadows. So I also wanted so I actually got two of them and this is what it normally looks like and then you can just peel off the front sticker and you can also get this off I believe with acetone and um, so I actually got in the mail some makeup keep Makeup Geek eyeshadows and sorry this is really loud and they are super super inexpensive I may be doing a video um, strictly on these if you guys would like to see that but so they are six dollars each and they just come in this little package and then you open them up and here they are so then you can just stick them straight onto there. So I am going to put the rest of these in and then show you how to depot your own eyeshadows if you don't, if they're not already um, depotted. And one of the reasons mainly why I am kind of converting to depotting and putting everything in the Z palette is like for one, I'm going to college and I'm not going to have the storage space that I have here. Um, and also, so it's just everything is more compact. Like why have this bulky, I mean, this is not even very bulky, but like why have this if you can like save so much space and just use one of these? So I just wanted to show you this real quick. So this is all of my Inglot eyeshadows down here at the bottom. So you can see that it holds six eyeshadows where this did not hold all of mine in one row. And then I've got all of my Makeup Geek ones at the top. I just have to swatch this one for you guys because it is insane. Look at this. Come on. It's one of their... Oh my gosh, just look at it. It's one of their um, foiled eyeshadow, so it is $10 compared to 6 but oh my gosh, it is so worth it. So see why I have my light on? Because this is awful lighting. Um, so now I am going to show you guys how to depot eyeshadows. Okay, so my um, Sephora Z palette kit actually came with this little device. And this is at a weird angle. Um, but if you do not have one of these, you can just use a small butter knife or a... Um, type of screwdriver thing that looks like this. I forgot what they're called. And then it also came with these little um, stickies because not all eyeshadows are magnetic on the back like the Wet n Wild one I'm about to show you. I would recommend getting some little tiny pieces of 
magnets and just putting some double stick on them. I believe they have um, these exact things on Amazon. I will try to link them down below, um, but if I can't find them, I will link an alternative for you guys. So what you do is, here I'll zoom you in. So you've got your eyeshadow and then you are just going to go, so this specific tool has a straight like a slanted side and then a straight side. So you're going to want to put the slanted in the corner. And this is kind of tricky um, to do. Like I made a big mess the first time I did it. But you're just going to want to push. Sorry, I'm shaking so much. I'm so hungry. Um, but you just want to try to push and like pop the eyeshadow up. I don't know a better angle to get you guys at for this. But um, it's going to be especially hard if they're glued to the bottom like these ones are. Um, but then I'm just going to take it and put it in my Z palette. Um, I will put the little stickies on it in a second. And then I'm just going to finish it up with this one. Just going in the corner. It's really not this hard when they are already magnetic and easy to pop open and it's okay if you like um kind of break the eyeshadow in the corner it's really not such a deal like see how that's kind of crumbling making a little bit of a mess here but yeah so then I am just going to use this because this is what I have sitting here flip this over take one of these little pieces And stick it to the back, push it on, and slide it into my Z palette. And I, for something that is like this, where it's like specific, like all over crease and brow bone, um, I just find it easier just to put them back in the same order that it was. There we have it, and none of them are falling out. And I just think this is so easy and very inexpensive and just a perfect way to keep all of your shadows in the same spot and that way you know that like I have a lot of like these neutralish colors I don't need to purchase anymore and or like you're like huh you know I don't have that kind of a color and if you keep them color coordinated you can see that um so yeah I hope this video was helpful for you guys um I am definitely going to be going and purchasing more of these palettes to put all my eyeshadows in because it's also like if I have all of these palettes, like I have my Naked palette, I have, you know, my Lorac palette, I'm way more tempted to use those instead of just my single eyeshadows. I almost never go into my single eyeshadow drawer. And so this will make it where I don't have to just single it out. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just think this is a perfect idea and it's way more cheap than a Z palette and you get a lot more for your money. Hope you guys liked this video and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye!